Aslamu alaikum. Today is the 10th of December 2020. This is Abu Ibrahim, assistant and chief reporter of Muhammad Qureshi from London. Today I have a current news from India that heartfelt tricks farmers rejected proposals to amend agricultural laws and plans to intensify. Farmers leaders on Wednesday rejected the central government's proposal to amend three controversial agricultural marketing laws and pledged to intensify their agitation until the laws are repealed. They plan to close highways in the capital to Agra and Jaipur by December 12 and hold a nationwide strike two days later. On Tuesday afternoon, the center submitted its written proposal to lead farmers at Singo Border Point, after 10,000 farmers began their protest and camped on Delhi's border with Haryana and Uttar Pradesh. The proposal provided written assurance that government procurement at the lowest support price, MSP would be accompanied by proposals to amend laws to address concerns raised by farmers among state-run delegates, private, dealer registration, and disputes. Decision System There is nothing different from what was said during the discussion, which we have repeatedly rejected. The government wants its old proposals to wear new clothes. This is an insult to the farmers, said Darshan Pal, president of the Kranti Kizan Federation. Create a plan to increase stress. By December 12, we will close the highway between Delhi and Jaipur. On that day, we will build a toll yard across the country for a day. He said, adding that farmers were advocating for the county of Geo Mobile Connection and other Reliance and Adani Group products and services. Farmers claim three laws will benefit large companies at the expense of small farmers. The BJP offices will be cordoned off. Other leaders said that the BJP offices would be cordoned off in every district, and the Taj Expressway from Delhi to Agra would be closed. On December 14, he planned Derna, with farmers from northern India urging him to come to Delhi, while the others start indefinite protests in their home states. Late between Home Minister Ramit Shah and a group of farmers' leaders on Tuesday at the end of a day in India, the nightly debate failed to break the deadlock. We told them that the peasants are completely justified, we have had five rounds of talks with the government. We are not ready to talk anymore, said Chief Kumar Kakajiji Sharma, one by one, we will block all roads of Delhi. Until the three laws are repealed, our war will continue. After the farmers rejected the center's proposal, Agriculture Minister Narendra Singh Tomar was seen entering. Mr. Shah's home for further consultations with the government. The center says the new laws will strengthen farmers by giving them greater options to sell their products and welcome private investment in post-harvest infrastructure and marketing systems. The center's written proposal, sent by the Joint Secretary of the Ministry of Agriculture, Vivek Agarwal, to 40 farmers leaders, outlines 10 different issues or concerns raised by the farmers during the negotiations. With regard to the demand for complete cancellation, the document only states that the center is open-minded to consider all provisions against which objections are raised by farmers. MSP Problem With regard to the MSP the document states that the center is ready to provide written assurance that the current system for purchasing crops in MSP it will continue. Farmers are demanding legal guarantees, preferably in the form of a new law that specifically states that crops cannot be purchased at below MSP rates. Heart tricks we are witnessing the privatization of agriculture, says Rakesh Dikit of the University of British Columbia. In many cases, the center has proposed implementing amendments that accuse state governments. Regarding the equality of Mandis. It would enable states to register private mandis and conduct their transactions at the same rate as in state administered mandis. This would allow states to set rules on registering private sector traders, allowing them to demand stricter identification requirements if they wanted. Dispute resolution regarding no, the center stated that it is ready to introduce a provision allowing recourse in civil courts. In addition to the existing arbitration system by the SDM, with regard to the Contract Agriculture Act, the center proposes to require that a signed copy of the contract be delivered to the SDM within 30 days. Unless states establish an official registration mechanism. 
Other provisions will ensure that under no circumstances can farmers' lands be annexed by the contracting buyer. While structures built on the land will also be the property of the farmer and cannot be mortgaged by the buyer or guarantor. Thanks for watching, for me informative and exclusive news, please subscribe and like this channel, I will be back soon with new updates, bye.